Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to do another Gypsy Lick today. So uh, what we're going to start with is a basic arpeggio and then I'm going to talk about how to do a lower neighbor lick and then let you just apply that to any chord that you see fit. So we're going to start with a bar chord, uh, the A minor chord on the 5th fret. That chord, uh, just to spell it out just in case uh, you're not familiar with this chord, it's a bar on the 5th fret across all 6 strings, and then on string 5, we've got 3rd finger on fret 7, and then 4th finger on fret 7 on the 4th string. It sounds like this. Now what we're going to do is outline that chord with only our 1st finger, and this is the chord and the shape, but we're going to try and do that one string at a time with only our 1st finger like this. So we're going to go low string fret 5, next string fret 7, still first finger, and then next string 7 again, and then 5 on the third string, and then 5 on the second string, and 5 on the first string. So practice getting that shape under your first finger like this. Then we're going to add a, an extra note. Um, in this chord, all the notes are A, C, or E. So this is A, E, A, C, E, A. Well, it just so happens that in uh, standard arpeggio, we kind of do those in order. A, C, E, A, C, E, A, C, E, over and over. And we're missing, between this A and this E, we're missing the note C. So we're going to apply that, but it's on the 8th fret low string. So we're going to do this now. Instead of just 5, 7, 7, 5, 5, 5, we're going to add this note on the 8th fret in between. So it's going to sound like this. First finger again, all first finger for this. Low string 5th fret, low string 8th fret. And then continue as we did before. 7, 7, 5, 5, 5. So it'll sound like this when we do it in, uh, in time, basically. So 5, 8, 7, 7, 5, 5, 5. Now, to do this lick, let's change to the middle finger first and practice getting every one of these notes with only the middle finger. So it'll look and sound like this. Well, actually, it'll sound the same, but it's going to look a little different. So second finger only on the left hand. Again, that's five, eight, next string seven, next string seven, next is five, and then next is five, next is five again. And the reason we switch to the middle finger is because we're going to now approach every note that the middle finger plays from below by the fret before that note, and we're going to play that with the first finger. Just for example, on the low string, instead of playing five with the middle finger, we're going to play fourth fret with the first finger and then fifth fret with the middle. So it'll look like this. And that's the lower neighbor of the note we're looking for. So the chord is, or the arpeggio, and we back up one fret for every note and play first finger first, and the first finger is a fret too low, basically. But then we're going to move our middle finger to the eighth fret, but we're going to play first finger on seven, and then go, go back to the seventh fret for the with the middle finger on the next string, but approach from below six and seven. Same thing on string four. And then here, it's middle finger on five, but we're going to play four first. Four, and four, five again. So it'll look and sound like this. Now, when you get used to that, you can actually start on the middle finger and do finger two, finger one, and finger two. And do that on each note. And that's the uh, true lower neighbor lick. So it'll sound something like this. We'll, I'll go in time. So uh, if we keep steady triplets, it'll be something like this. And then there are times where you don't want to do steady triplets. You want to do each lick with a little pause in between. It just kind of depends on the style you're playing or, or the mood you're in. Um, there's no right or wrong. It's just personal preference, basically. But it could sound like this. Which is a little more 
choppy and broken. So to put this in context, I'll play a little bit of a really famous gypsy tune, and occasionally when I come back to the A minor chord, I'm going to do uh, one of these licks. I may do just the arpeggio, I may do the lower neighbor, uh, where you approach from below, and then I may do the one where you play the note, go to the lower neighbor, and then return to the note. So it could sound something like this, but again, it's just it's up to you how you apply this. into that context. Uh, occasionally when I would come back to the A minor chord I would do the lick, either the, uh, the lower neighbor where you start on the note, go to the lower neighbor and return, or I would do the lower neighbor where you start on the lower neighbor and return to the note uh, of the arpeggio. And now you can uh, see how it fits into the context of a, a tune uh, when I would come back to the A minor chord, uh, most of the time I would do one of those licks. So um, see if you can incorporate that into your playing and also see if you can find that in other places. So you know now we know the six string version of that on a minor chord. To do a major chord you just change a few notes. Uh, so in this case A minor to A major. You just have this note is that's different. The third changes from a C to a C sharp. And also this note that we added, the C becomes a C sharp also, so it's that idea. But then, just for example, on a C chord, on the fifth string that starts here on the third fret, we can do the same thing on that, and we can add the extra third here or here. So there are a lot of different options, but for now, uh, just for this video, we're going to stick with the six string full chord and just see if you can find that in uh, tunes that you already know. So if you're playing a song and there's a, a big G chord in there, or a uh, B chord, for example, look for those, see if you can do the lower neighbor. Uh, do both patterns and see if you can work these out on uh, the six string chords that you're already playing. Incorporate this into your solos. Um, if you're doing rhythm and you want to have a nice little ending, um, it works as an ending too. So I uh, hope that helps and enjoy. See you soon.